Hey y'all, I am Asian Hair here. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to price your wigs, okay? If you want to start a wig business and you need help pricing your wigs, I'm here to help you price your wig. So the first thing that you want to do is just type right at the top how to price your wig, okay? First thing you need to figure out is what are you selling? Are you selling a pre-made wig or are you selling a custom wig, okay? If you don't know the difference between the two, make sure you check out my video, pre-made versus custom wigs, okay? Where I explain the difference between the two. So we'll go ahead and write wig pre-made. Okay, and then we'll also write for custom hair plus closure and or frontal. Okay, so how much is that wholesale? Let's just write it off and say it's $200. You're just gonna choose one. You're not gonna choose both, okay? This is like having two orders. You just need to figure out what are you selling? Premium wig or custom wig. Then you wanna factor in your wig caps, okay? Your wigs caps can cost three to four dollars depending on the location that you go to. So we'll just say that's $3. Okay, then you need needle and thread, okay? Needle costs about 50 cents, thread is about $3. What is that, like 350? We can round it off to four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars, okay? Then your wig tax. I get my wig tax from Alibaba. There's a hundred, we just need one, so. You can do the math right there, okay? Now, you need to factor in your hair products, okay? Not your styling tools, because your styling tools, they don't really go out like that, okay? You're not really running through styling tools like you're running through styling products, okay? So this is your bleach and your developer. Okay, this is your wax stick. This is your heat protective. This is everything that you're using constantly, okay? So we can write, let's just say, it just depends on how many orders that you have, okay? So let's just say $3, okay? $3. Now, let's go ahead and add this together. Okay, I got my calculator right here. And again, we're only using one of these, okay? All right, so that is 210.01, okay? Now you want to add in the vendor shipping price. Vendors are very expensive when it comes to shipping, okay? So that can be about, it just depends on how many orders that you have because the weight will always increase. But let's just say that's $40, okay? We'll just put 40 over here. If you have two orders or three orders, it'll still be $40, okay? Typically, you'll divide that by how many orders that you have, but let's just say we're working with one order, all right? Otherwise, it's gonna come out of your profit. Okay, now we want to do packaging. Okay, you need a box or you need a bag. You need something that you can place the wig in. So we'll write box. We need tissue paper to put in the wig and to cover the wig. We need a net, um, and then after you wrap the hair, you want to put in all of your cards. So we'll put biz cards and thank you cards. Thank you cards. Okay. Now you need a box. Okay, you can't just deliver a wig by painting a wig. Depending if you're getting the wigs custom made, they can be pretty expensive, okay? So let's just say it's $5 a box to the net. Net, let's just say it's a hundred in there, $10. This is our math. 
business cards. I get my business cards and thank you cards on Vistaprint. Um, and they're very expensive, so we can just say two dollars. And then you want to add in your tissue paper. You can get a bag that has 100 in it. You want to use about five. So do the math on that. We'll get tissue paper. Okay, so we'll just say that. We want to add all of this together. So that is. Okay, that's 915. Okay, then you want to do your shipping. Okay, you gotta ship the wig, and there's always gonna be a shipping cost. There's nothing in this world that is free. Okay, shipping. That is going to be, let's just say $10, because I charge $10 for shipping. Okay, then you need paper. Okay. So you can print your order. So we'll just do point ten cent, like we have a hundred pieces of paper. Okay, divide that by one. And then you also have ink. Okay. Ink is not free. Ink is very expensive. So we'll just put two dollars for ink. And then what if you purchase a machine? Okay, your machine is constantly pushing out labels so we'll do two dollars for the machine and then you also need labels okay you can find all of this on amazon we're going to add all of this together you get 16.1 sell your stuff from some type of platform so your website you may have an email list and then let's just say you offer BYOB a business address you need somewhere to ship you need to return address if you use Shopify that's $29 a month email I think I paid $12 I think I paid $12 for the year and then for a virtual address $12 that's $53. Then you want to add in your profit. Let's just say you want $100 for profit. You want to go ahead and add all of this together. So you have the two ten and one cent plus 40. All right, y'all, and just keep in mind when you are doing your pricing, this pricing is just for a specific length. The longer your length, the more your price will increase. So the total that we got for this is $428.16. And you want to go ahead and round up so we can do $430. That is how you price your wigs. If you have any additional questions, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and comment any future videos that you would like to see.